different elements in all religion is how do you know that God wrote the Bible? It's an important question because sometimes you'll read the book, you'll be asked to perform a commandment, you'll hear a teaching, and then you have to say, well, is it a nice idea or is it actually something that I have to incorporate into my life? If I know that God wrote this book, then I am much more likely to take its teachings more seriously. Now, Judaism definitely contains elements of both knowledge and faith. Knowledge would be when I have some kind of proof to substantiate my belief. Faith would be when I just believe in something without proof. Without question by us, knowledge takes precedence. This week's Parsha gives us a very interesting approach in terms of how we can know that God wrote the Torah. Either God wrote the Torah or men wrote the Torah. There are many ways to figure out whether or not God wrote the Torah, many categories of proof, but I want to suggest to you one way. One of the ways is, would you write the Torah in the way that it is written? So let's play a game. We'll all be together in a nice committee. We're going to write the Torah, and let's see if we would actually write the Torah the way it's written. So we ask for suggestions of commandments. One guy says, don't steal. One guy says, don't murder. One guy says, honor your parents. These are great suggestions. Let's bring them in. Another one says, how about keep the Sabbath? Let's give everyone a day off. Oh, fantastic. I raise my hand. I have a suggestion. I want to suggest that every seven years we give everyone a year off. Now, knowing that this is an agrarian culture, we'll tell everyone, plant and prune for six years, and then when you get to the seventh year, take it off. What do you think? Great idea? Everyone says, yeah, it's a great idea. Crop rotation, very healthy for the land, beautiful. Then someone pipes up in the back and says, well, what are people going to eat in the seventh year that we're all taking off? Hmm, someone says, well, okay, you know, we can divide the land into the, the country into seven different sections. Another person says, we can rotate the years. And I stand up, I say, you know what, I have a great idea. Let's tell everyone that in the sixth year, they will get a bumper crop, enough food for the sixth year, the seventh, and until the eighth year's produce is, is ripe. Great idea, right? What do you think? <laughs> Who's going to write that in the Torah? Imagine for a moment you did write that in the Torah. How long do you think your religion would last? Maybe six years, right? When you get to the sixth year, everyone's going to say, forget it, we didn't get the bumper crop. Obviously, this is made up. Let's see what the Torah says and then come to the rational conclusions. When you look at the beginning of the Parsha, it says, when you come to the land that I give you, the land shall observe a Sabbath rest for Hashem. For six years you may sow your field, and for six years you may prune your vineyard, and you may gather its crop. But the seventh year shall be a complete rest for the land, a Sabbath for Hashem. Your field you shall not sow, nor your vineyard you shall not prune. Okay, there you go. And then a little later on, a few verses later, it says, If you will say, What will we eat in the seventh year? Behold, we will not sow nor gather in our crops. I will ordain my blessing for you in the sixth year, and it will yield a crop sufficient for a three-year period. You get it? If you were writing the book, would you write this? Absolutely not. Why not? Because you don't have control over history and nature in order to provide for a triple crop. So one of the ways that we will look at the Torah to develop a deeper sense of confidence that, yes, it truly is God who wrote this book, will be to say, if I was writing the book, would I write it in the way that it is written? I think it's clear that no rational human being would do such a thing. Now, that's not the only proof that God wrote the Torah, but it's one of them. And if we want to have great confidence in the commandments and the teachings of the Torah, then periodically we have to stop and look at the Torah and look at the different areas of proofs to understand how, do, how can I be really confident that it is truly a godly book. Coming up soon is the holiday of Shavuos. This is where the entire Jewish people celebrate the fact that God revealed himself to all of God's people and gave us the Torah. Find a place to celebrate the holiday. Stay up all night long and learn Torah. And you will have an even greater confidence that this book was dictated letter by letter from God to Moses and then given to us. And when you learn its teachings and when you fulfill its commandments, you will be inspired to integrate these concepts more and will live an even better life than ever before. I'm Rabbi Yitzwine, the Young Israel Asian Las Vegas.